All right, welcome everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you guys a couple of quick tricks that you can use in your layer window in Clip Studio. And I believe this works in Photoshop as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if it doesn't. We'll have to do a different video for that. Over here in my layer stack, below my flats, I've got this layer that is uh, really just the character elements, all on one layer, all one color. And there's nothing else on this layer. It's completely transparent otherwise. And what this allows you to do is to modify selections you're making by clicking on this image over here. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. And so for example, if I just wanna make a new selection that involves these characters, I could use my flats to select the skin and the eyebrows and the eyes and lips and hair and all those things and, and you know, click a couple of times and select all that stuff. But I could also just control click this image right here. If I click that, it automatically selects all the contents of that layer and it ignores any transparent pixels. So that's the first thing is just control click the layer will make a new selection based on the contents of that layer. If I have an existing selection and then shift control click the layer, it adds the contents of the layer to that existing selection. So as before, it was just this. Now, if I control shift click, I can add that to the selection. By the way, if you're on a Mac, it's control or command, it's alt or option. I'm not gonna say that every single time because it's too much. Uh, <laughs> anyway, another trick. So again, if I have an existing selection and then shift control and alt all together, click the layer, it will intersect with that selection and choose a selection from what is already selected. This is also, uh, what Photoshop calls uh, an intersecting selection. I think in Clip Studio, they can consider it a selection from selection. It's the same thing. So you can see that my selection goes over the pillow and the sheet and the characters, but when I shift control alt, click that picture, it's gonna get rid of everything except, uh, you know, the character selection themselves. Also very handy at times. And uh, it also can remove from an existing selection. So again, I've got my selection. Let's say I wanna do something on this pillow or something. Then I've got my new selection. Control and Alt clicking that picture will remove that selection from the existing selection. I've said selection a lot in this video. But anyway, this is a very quick, simple trick. And I know I've done this a million times in a million videos. And I had some people today during the stream asking about um, how I, use that. So hopefully this was useful. Hopefully it answered some questions. See y'all in the next one.